COVID hit the day that we were doing a dress rehearsal for a play. Only a few wives have seen American Mariachi. A show set to begin the day Dallas County locked down. We rehearsed the play, we built it, and we never performed it. Kevin Moriarty shared a sample of the pandemic's impact on the Dallas arts community. We went to the actors and said to them, you've spent a month working on this for the creative team, your directors, designers, months and months and months. And we said, you'll never get to do this play. Sadly, this is just one story in a very tough time. For all of us, those numbers were a bit alarming. Terry Loftus with the Arts Community Alliance shared results of a survey sent to nearly 60 arts organizations in Dallas. It shows nearly 650 people have been laid off or furloughed. And together, they've suffered more than $33 million in losses. I don't know until we receive that data coming back into us that we realize uh, that it was going to be that large. Fort Worth has taken a hit too. When everything shuttered in March, it truly put a stop to things. Karen Wiley is the president of their Arts Council, a group that would generate more than $450 million in activity for the city. And the performing arts are the ones that um, they are really been hit. Our gig workers, guys and gals that build the sets and do the lighting and work on costumes and work in stage production. The arts community knows the shows will go on, but when? I mean, that set is still abandoned on the stage at the Wiley Theater. Until their return, they need your support. <laughs> Keep the lights on through this intermission. It's going to take a community-wide effort to see us through to whatever normalcy it's going to look like in the future. In Dallas, I'm Alex Rosier.